So sometimes you come across articles that are just crazy, just insane, out of touch, and makes no sense at all, honestly. Now, with this, this article is actually coming off of the end of the Will Smith, Chris Rock debacle, which uh, we talked about that already. But this is funny. I, I was actually watching um, Joe Rogan. I know you're a racist. You're a white supremacist. You're a Nazi. Go fuck yourself, please. Just go where you are now and literally fuck yourself. It's easy. I'm sure you can do it. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you can. Anyways, this article from USA Today, which is, you, you kind of expect things like this to come out. It's funny when they do. His article was a different article, but it's kind of in the same vein by a different outlet. And again, this is USA Today. I'm not going to give the name of the author just in case somebody decides to go attack her or him or she or they, whatever. So the article title is Will Smith and the Unfair Burden Black Men Face. And this came out today, March 31st. You're probably watching this, you know, 20 years down the road where it's irrelevant. And it's kind of wild. And I want to read just one excerpt from it. This is actually a quote from Sean Harper. He's a professor at the University of Southern California. Now, California... You kind of expect this stuff. Sorry, Californians, it's true. Sorry. It goes like this. I am certain that if one white man slapped another during the Oscars, the world would be buzzing about it, too. But the buzz would be different. It would be racialized. When white, when white men act badly, their actions are attributed to their race. Because Will Smith and Chris Rock are both black men... So much of the conversation about the altercation is being characterized as black male violence, which is unfair. So we somehow turn what happened at the Oscars and we go back and we blame Whitey. And it's from somebody in California that happens to be some kind of fucking professor or, you know, I don't know what you're you consider yourself as you, you can't gender things you, you can't call things of what they are because they'll get pissed off and cry and you know make a bad tweet about you that's usually how it goes the, these people are crazy these people are crazy and if you continue reading through through it you kind of run into that same stuff uh, again here's another piece of it we have too much evidence to confirm that there are d double standards and harsher consequences for black boys and men that were are for their white counterparts. <laughs> okay, this is again is from Harper. One often cited example is crack cocaine versus powder cocaine, sentencing inequity that contributes heavily to the mass incarceration of black men. You're missing the point. This has nothing to do of what happened at the Oscars it has nothing to do with white people. Nothing it has nothing to do with it. But here we are. Here we are. We have a lot of articles coming out about this. Why can't things just be black and white? It is what it is. It happened the way it happened. It had nothing to do with the color of their skin. And I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to contrast, what if it was two white people? What if it was a white guy that smacked a black guy? What if it was the two females you know, smacking each other? What if it was a transgender getting smacked by a white dude? I understand what you're trying to do, but it doesn't belong here. It doesn't. It has nothing to do with what happened. Now, you can say things at the Oscars and... TV is inherently racist. I'm sure that art I'm sure that argument will come around eventually. But I don't understand why we're on this. I don't understand how it got to this. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I I understand you want to write an article, you want to get your clicks in. 
and you want to just be, you want that article just pop up and feeds everywhere, and people has to do double takes on it. Then you have your friends on Twitter that you know they're psyched about this, and they all agree with you because they're blue check marks. I mean, come on, fuck you, please. Please, this has nothing to do with skin color, has nothing to do with race, has nothing to do with any of that shit. And if I have to continue to make that point over and over and over again, I don't understand where the disconnect is. I don't get it. I don't understand how you can take something as simple as some dude smacking another dude I didn't add collar to their skin on that. I said two men. So w whenever you attach, you know, you write your article, then you attach skin collar, you might be the racist. You ever thought about that? You ever thought, just thought, you have all these uh, left, left uh, <laughs> extremists, they're all white. A bunch of white kids taking the voice of black people. I mean, you take a look at BLM, Antifa. A lot of them are white. Trying to take up for black people. And a lot of black people don't want that. They can say it, you protect themselves for the most part. I know we are a racially divided country. I know how things look. Crimes are bad on both sides. The media only talks about, you know, something that's going to get the most views. If a white man gets shot by a policeman, nobody cares. If a black guy gets shot by a policeman, it's World War III, basically. It's terrible. It's terrible. We're, we're so, as a, you know, culture so tied up with gender and race and all that bullshit and i'm losing my words here i'm losing my steam it kind of happens from time to time it just doesn't make a lot of sense why these kind of articles pop up after anything that happens no matter what well no matter what it is if i was to drop a popsicle it would be racist. Somebody would write an article. If I was a famous white guy and I accidentally dropped my popsicle, somebody's going to write that article saying that was racist the way he dropped that popsicle. He is a white supremacist. And the funny thing is, is a lot of the people on Twitter and you have all these, you know, Hollywood elites, which a lot of this has to do like, if you really want to put blame on something in particular going into this, it would be how Hollywood elites, doesn't matter what color their skin is or gender, get away with something this humiliated. I, myself, can't walk up to a dude and smack them in the face and walk away. There's repercussions for that. That's assault. And that's what happened on live television. He got away with it. Nothing's going to happen. He's not going to get these award taken away. He's not going to see time. He's not even going to get sued. But if I was to walk out and smack some dude in the face, that would be considered assault. And I would be in trouble, probably sued or going to jail. Or at least arrested in something. It doesn't make sense at all, at all. And this is going on to, like, I, you know, we're dealing with some shit in my town with some extremist here, you know, think he's above the law. And, you know, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. This has nothing to do with white supremacy. It has nothing to do with that. And you're ignorant for thinking that. If you actually believe what this person is saying if you agree with them you might, might need to check yourself in sometime take a reality check because not everything is about race 
or gender. It's not. And I know that's what you guys want to believe. And that's why you put it in every single thing. Everything. Everything has to be political. Before I continue on and go on down the road, I want to end it here because, you know, I can only ramble for so long and I'm starting to lose my words. You hear me stuttering all the time. That's what I do. I get excited and I start to stutter. <laughs> but anyways, if you guys like this, feel free to hit that follow button, hit that subscribe button, and you guys, finger guns!